I want to be the best provider that I can for my patients. I want to know how to read research critically so that I am giving them evidence-based practice at all times. And it's, you learn that when you get your master's degree, but this is kind of taking it to the next level and really being able to critically look at it and say, okay, this person is telling me this medication works on 90% of their patients because of this study, but there's only 10 people in the study, so that's not really representative of population. So it teaches me what to look for, but it also makes me notice, you know, knowledge gaps. I can look through research and say, okay, I've seen five studies doing this and they all say the same thing. We're missing this. So how can I help kind of fill that knowledge gap? The patients will come in and say, I got on Google and I saw this. And I can get on and say, here's what the research is saying, not just what Google says, but what the research is saying, and with confidence be able to go through and tell them, you know, this is why you're seeing what you're seeing, but this is the bulk of the information that's actually been found out there. A lot of people will not go back to school because they think they're too old or they think it won't matter or, you know, it's not going to make a difference in how they take care of their patients. I would tell them, just go because you will be surprised at what you learn and how you adapt the way you practice based on that new knowledge.